I'm feeling wonderful. I'm still basking in the moment. Last night was an amazing close to a wonderful journey and I'm just really happy to be here and to be able to wear this beautiful crown on my head. This crown means it's, it comes with a lot of responsibility. It's a great honor to have it on my head. I'm grateful that the Miss World Guyana team saw something in me and saw the potential for me to carry this crown and wear it well and to represent my country. So it means stewardship, it means responsibility, it means being an ambassador and representing my country and the Miss World Guyana organization. So I first had my taste of pageantry when I was about nine years old in the mother and daughter pageant. And um, since then, I grew up admiring beauty queens all around the world. But the Miss World competition stood out to me because they were well-rounded women. And the Beauty with a Purpose project, which is the ethos of Miss World, that is what drew me to this competition specifically. So it was a joy to be able to sign up. I applied and went through the competition, did my best, launched my very own Beauty with a Purpose project. And um, it's really a dream come true. Little Andrea is, <laughs> she's beaming right now. So my Beauty with a Purpose project is named Project Flow. It focuses on financial literacy orientation. The Miss World Guyana organization this year gave us the theme of literacy and all the candidates choose different, chose different aspects of literacy and we see it as a national literacy campaign since all of us are focusing on this different aspects in our different regions. My focus on financial literacy is because I see the gap in our ed educational foundation and I wanted to do something to fix that gap, address it, so I started some workshops in financial literacy. I was averaging about 50 people for my pilot, but I almost tripled that because I had, no, I actually did triple it and passed, <laughs> passed that. I had over 200, over 200 students. The turnout was amazing. The support was definitely there. And um, my aim now is to continue my workshops, build enough data so that I can advocate with the Ministry of Education through my data and the workshops that I've conducted for them to now take, take up the mantle to provide financial literacy education in, in our schools. I'm prepared to fulfill my mission to continue my Beauty with a Purpose project. But from now to November, there will be a lot of preparation for the national, the international competition, which is happening in December. Um, you can expect to see a lot of great things coming out from the collaboration with myself and the Miss World Guyana organization. You can expect to see great representation on the international stage. And when I return, hopefully with the crown, you can expect to see my good work that I started in this competition continue throughout the country. My family have been behind me foot and foot through and through this entire competition. My mother was like my shadow. She was there at every rehearsal, from casting, actually. She was there at casting, every rehearsal, every event she showed up. Absolutely, I have been singing high praises to my family since, <laughs> since before I was crowned because they really have supported me. So again, thank you to my family, mom and dad, my brothers, my sisters, my close friend Grace. She also was like a backup to my mother. Um, my sponsors, I'd like to thank all my sponsors, all my supporters, the ones who supported me in the background, and the online supporters. And most importantly, again, thank you to the Miss World Guyana organization for giving me this opportunity.